And while Republicans lay out their midterm message, some Democrats are thinking about 2024, expressing grave concerns over a Biden re-election bid, with a few of them saying, yes, the woman you see on your screen, failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, could creep back in the spotlight. Would it be insane of you to run for office again? <laughs> Why aren't I 50 points ahead, you might ask? Everything from, you know, sexism and misogyny to voter suppression. Mm -hmm. I will never be out of the game of politics. <laughs> I mean, really, yes, it deserves a lot of laughter. Jimmy Fela, host of Fox Across America on Fox News Radio and Fox Nation, joins us now. And Jimmy, a little bit more from this Wall Street Journal article titled Hillary Clinton's 2024 Election Comeback. Quote, we can anticipate that Mrs. Clinton will begin shortly after the midterms to position herself as an experienced candidate capable of leading Democrats on a new and more successful path. <laughs> what do you think about all this? <laughs> Gosh, haven't the American people been through enough lately without having to sit through another Hillary go round? Like, come on, man. But you know what, Carly? We've been saying forever, she's absolutely going to run again. She read, don't forget this, a few weeks back, she publicly read the speech she would have given if she won. That is fatal attraction stuff. Imagine going on a date with a person and they read you the vows they would read you if you did get married. You'd run from the table, which is why we all, want to, we all want to run to the bathroom right now and get away from this. But here's the thing really quick, okay? One of the reasons this conversation, it is viable, and not just because she probably paid those two writers to get her name back into the mix. The reason it is viable is because Joe Biden sucks. Look where he is right now. The guy's at 35% in the latest Quinnipiac poll, and, and nobody has any faith in his judgment. Number one, he's not running again in 2024. Okay, the guy's in his late hundreds. But number two, <laughs> he just has bad instincts. Carly, he does. He has bad instincts in every way. Georgia just won the national championship Monday night. Tuesday, he goes down to interrupt the biggest keg party in the history of the world to tell everybody there they were racist. Who the hell thought that was a good idea? Probably the same dope who thinks Hillary has a shot in 2024. <laughs> Oh, it's actually like, worse, Jimmy, than 35. It's actually 33% approval yeah. for one oh, Joe Biden. Take a look at, at these numbers. 53% disapproval. And, and, Jimmy, this is during the honeymoon stage. Let's not forget that. What happens yeah. when they return from Hawaii and settle down in that cul-de-sac? Well, well, this is how we, this is how we got to Trump Hillary matchups this early in the presidency. Todd, you know this is a football fan. Like every couple of years, when like the NFC Championship gets played, one team goes up thirty-one to three in the first quarter, and the announcers are like, "Well, what are we going to talk about now? There's no game." And that's where we are in the Biden presidency. He's already down thirty-one to three, and we're now talking about twenty twenty-four. This is psychotic, and it's bad for the country, and it's bad for Biden, but it's relevant because she is a political stray cat that we fed once. She's never going away. <laughs> so yes, yes, yes. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah, but Jimmy, really quickly, uh, do you think that Hillary Clinton would want to run again? I, I mean, you, you, you clearly do. Yes! But, no, but listen, here's yes. the counterpoint. Here's the counterpoint. Mm. Nobody gets mm. Repu Republicans to the polls quite like Hillary Clinton. Do you think that she would risk losing again a third time? Yes. Yeah, you want to know why? Because along the way to that loss, they'll revive the Clinton Global Initiative. It'll take in another billion dollars. You know, every donation completely dried up when she left politics. So the consolation prize is the billion dollars they made last time, which, oh, by the way, Bill asked for all of his money in singles. <laughs> well, if you like what you see here, watch Fox Across America exclusively on Fox Nation for more of Jimmy Fallon, our friend. Jimmy, thank you so much for joining us this morning.